Hello, my friends. Here we go again. Part two, the Lady of Spring. No, part three. <laughs> part, second part with Ink Tense, but part three of the video series. And uh, we're going to jump right in, I think, because I don't have anything of any real importance to say. I do think I'm going to wait. I know we are kind of working on the top before, but I think I'm going to wait to do the um, the flowers. I think they're apple blossoms, but I could be wrong. So I want to wait to do the flowers until we get a little bit further along <clears throat> in the page, because I'm not sure if I want to do them um, with pink or as white and um, with a little bit of green. So I'm going to wait till we get some um, some more of the page done and then we can decide from there. So I am going to just get started and we're going to work on the um, the leaves. Let's see, I want to, something about the lighting here is bugging me a little bit. I don't know what it is. All right, well, we're just going to, we're going to go with it. So um, I'm just going to grab my greens and let's see, I'm going to have to remember to keep this page up here. Let's zoom in a little bit. How's that? And let's see, what else can I do? I need to do something to remember not to bring the page down. <laughs> oh, how about put a little barrier there? All righty, so. I think I will start with, we did a lot of fern and felt green, so we're just gonna kind of start there. Um, let's start with fern, I think. Let's start with fern. And you guys are probably not gonna be able to see me with this zoom. Um, doing that, but that's really literally all I'm doing is touching the pen to the edge of the pencil or the brush to the edge of the pencil. So, alrighty, let's go. So that's kind of a lot of water. She's turning out real nice though. I like um, I like what we've got so far. So that's a good thing. All right, that looks like it's a branch. Oh yeah, it is. That's a branch with buds on it. Okay. Let's move over to felt. Alrighty, let's put some 
mop on there. If those are cherry blossoms, then this mop color is probably not a realistic color to go on these leaves. But I wanted to tie the purples in with the greens and as artists we're allowed to take artistic license right we can do we can do whatever we want do some apple green. Okay, I'm gonna leave those be, and we can always come back and do some other stuff. So my branch, I think we'll do Saddle Brown, maybe. Try that. leaf down there. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a branch. It doesn't look thick enough to be the branch. Okay, let's put some bark. I'm kind of just dropping that in on the bottom edge. And letting it kind of bleed and blend the way it wants to, if that makes sense. Okay. Um... These I'm going to do in, I think, violet. That's deep violet. Let's try violet. Mm, you know what else I want to do first? I'm going to put some antique white right in the middle. And hopefully that does what it's supposed to do in, and it will, it's 
see what happens. Yep, good. So the water activated it and has given me this nice light colored highlight down the middle. So I kind of cleaned off my brush so that there wasn't a lot of purple on it so that when I go to blend the colors, I don't completely cover up the white that I have on here. Always come back in and add some more later if we want to. Or we can do it now. <laughs> All right, let's do. I know I'm really. Let's at least do the green. For the um, oh, I gotta finish that leaf. We'll finish that leaf first, <laughs> and then probably do the um, uh, just trying to, it's probably not gonna work. Just trying to cl <coughs> clear off that little, I got a little bit of green there on that flower. Um, okay, back to the leaf. A leaf down here. Um, we are using felt, felt green. And we might. I'm going to go ahead and put some apple green on there since I have it in my hand. And, nope, wrong color. Mauve. going to use do I want to use apple green I think I want to use apple green mm -hmm. <laughs> for the um, flower stems is that all there is this one right here. Is that it? sure what the um oh you know I just realized these that is wing and right there that is that is fairy wing oh now I have to decide what I'm gonna do with that I'm thinking 
I'm thinking a lot of yellow, I think. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so as I'm looking over this, I'm seeing a couple things that I want to tackle so I don't m miss them and forget to do them. One of them is her earring. So I'm going to <clears throat> put some white here. It's probably not going to help, but I am going to do it anyway. <laughs> um, and if I'm lucky, I can just not put color there. Because I want to keep <clears throat> some brightness where the white is. And then we'll use a little bit of amber. So that first color I used was um, sun yellow. If that works, that looks gold enough to me. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of purple not purple. <laughs> I love calling this purple. Mauve. Into this stone. At least I'm calling it a stone. I don't know what it is, but it's a stone to me. And you know what? I just realized that I did not use mauve for that one. So this is what I'm going to do because I kind of like it. I'm going to take this mauve and I'm going to add a little bit to that stone. And now that works. Okay. I'm afraid. I, I know I have to tackle the dress and I'm a little bit afraid because sometimes um, on these big expanses of um, area where you're going to be putting in a lot of ink tents. It can get a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is, it doesn't go as smoothly and perfectly as when you're working in smaller areas. So we can always correct with pencil. Um, the, the Prismacolor pencils on top of the ink tents do a beautiful job of smoothing things out and making it look better. So I try to decide if I should pull back or leave it. So let's, let's leave it for now. Now the question is how much purple or purple tones do I want to put into her dress? This, I want to use a combination of mauve and yellow and uh, make it kind of bubbly. Not bubbly, um, kind of like, exactly like, because I really like the look, um, like what we did here. And I just love the way the, the, the purples mix with the yellows in there, and I like that effect. So that's what we're gonna do on her glove. Um, and I am going to do the wings in yellow. We're going to bring some of the yellow from up in her headdress down into her wings. So now the question is, is the majority of her dress going to be purple or do I let her dress be green? I think I'm going to have her dress be green. And we're going to let's do the trim in purple. I was um, online 
last night <clears throat> looking at other images that were done this way. And I found a version of Linda's that <laughs> is really, really similar. It's like she has two different versions of this colored page. So, all right. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Let's put, let's put some white in here. Mauve it is. I feel like I'm concentrating really, really hard. <laughs> I don't want to get the um, purple on her skin, even though it'll probably wipe off okay. I'm still trying to be cautious. I also don't want to get it on the bulk of her dress because I do think we're going to do that in green. Some down here. All right, everything else is green. Let's go ahead and do her her um, hand, her glove. So do I, I'm debating, it's been a while since I did that other technique. So this is sun yellow. I might put that down first in the center. I honestly don't remember how I did that. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna put this down. The purple might just cover it right up, but we'll see. 
All right, so that was sun yellow. And now this is mauve. Because really they just blend. I don't necessarily want um, everything to be, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it looks good though. I think I'm happy. We might drop a little bit more of the yellow in there. Yeah, like that. Back to more mauve. I think I'm going to let it dry as I add more. <laughs> I think I'm going to let it dry and then we'll add um, some more after it dries. Because again, don't want to overwork that. <clears throat> and it's interesting how it's the same color, mauve. And I used that up here, but when I mix it with the yellow, it completely takes on a whole other, more um, redder tone. So we're going to let that dry, and then when we add more mauve into it, um, it should be closer to this, this color purple. So that'll be good. Okay, what do I want to do with the dress? I like the colors, the bright colors that we have going on. So let's use apple green first. Let's see what that looks like. Please, please, please look good. All right, try and work in sections so that I'm kind of breaking it into smaller pieces so I don't I don't want right over that little thingy oh well So you guys, I'm, if you can, I would love to know if you prefer um, the camera to be really zoomed in on just what I'm working on, or if you like it a little bit further away so that you can see all the other things that are going on um, on the page. That would be helpful for me to know. Because, you know, when you're watching this on a small iPhone or phone, um, it's tiny. But when you're watching it on an iPad or a big TV, um, then it's maybe not so important for it to be all zoomed in. So, inquiring minds want to know. I'm dating myself now with that with that commercial.
Okay, now I want to add, I think, fern. Where'd it go? Felt, apple, beach. Oh yeah, fern is that color that has the completely wrong color on the bottom of the stick. All right, so this is fern. Um, so the dress is pretty um, lumpy is not the right word. It's, it's bulging from the water. So I want to um, dry it before I keep going. I don't want to turn it yucky she says as she continues to add more color to the page okay so I'm going to um, dry what I've got going on and I will be right back all right all dry and as I was drying it I was looking and I was thinking that I would like to add some cadmium yellow to her dress. So that's what we're going to do. Cadmium yellow. Well, that was a lot. But again, these do um, these do tone down a lot when they dry. So That's good. Yep, I like that. Okay, so let's take some, do we wanna do mauve or do we wanna do violet? I feel like I wanna keep mixing the two. So let's do some violet on her um, straps. Okay, I'm adding mauve too.
Okay, so since I have it in my hand and this is dry, let's add some more here. going to try adding some violet as well. I don't know if that's going to do anything or not. Maybe a little bit of violet. It's like sometimes they're really similar and sometimes they're completely different. There's the bluier color that's showing up now. Don't you love how I describe my colors? Bluey, yellowy, purpley. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. I don't. I think we're going to leave it at that. Okay. What's next? I want to add some browns, like maybe saddle brown, into the dress. So let's.
a little bit. that little bit is right there, but I think it needs to be green. Oh, it's just part of her sleeve. I see now. So green, and actually I'm going to put some brown on there too. Okay. All right. I like what we got going on so far. Um... The leaves here, though, still look very dark. So I'm wondering if I... I want to try an experiment here. And I'm going to mix on a palette um, this white and the apple green. And I'm either going to love it or I'm going to, or I'm going to hate it. So we'll see what happens. So... Oops, don't press too hard. Not when you've weakened your tip. All right, so this is a rough um, palette. All right, let's mix these together. I don't, I neither love it nor hate it because I don't know how much it's actually done. I need a little bit more white. No, I think we're too late in being able to add Much more lightness here. I don't think that's going to work. I mean, it's not a, you know, it's not a disaster or anything. I was just curious to see if I could lighten it. We could always try using some white Prisma, but I don't know that I want to do that. So, all right, so that experiment was not a great success. Although maybe, I'll have to see what happens after it dries. Because it kind of looks a little bit lighter than it did before. All right, let's put down some yellow for the wings. Um, how do I want to do that? I don't know. Maybe two different colors of yellow. Let's see what we got here. So right now we've been using we've been using sun yellow and cadmium yellow. Um, I don't really want to bring in like an orangey yellow like the Sicilian yellow. I think that's too orange. Sherbet lemon is probably a little bit lighter.
Okay, I'm going to try Sherbert Lemon, which is a new color we haven't used yet. Oh, wait. No, I don't. This color is weird. This color in my swatch book looks very, um, looks quite yellow. But it looks so green to me on the pencil. No, it's pretty yellow. Look how green the lead looks, though. It's like, that's like green, but it comes out, it comes out being yellow. So, all right, so we're going to put, I'm going to use less pigment and more water. So we can keep it kind of light. And then we can come in with some more. Um, some more. What color do I want to bring in? I want to bring in maybe even amber. No, oh, that's some yellow. Cadmium yellow. Tan. It's here somewhere. Amber. All right, I'm going to try this amber. I don't, I don't love it, nor do I hate it. Um, well, it's not bad. Okay, I'm going to dry again. Alrighty, I'm going to use my tan now. Oh, that's Saddle Brown. I take that back. I'm going to use my Saddle Brown now. <laughs> I'm going to put that right in here. I didn't use any of that other color, so I'm going to go ahead and just use this saddle brown over here. That's good enough. And that still might not be dark enough. But I don't want to put it in here yet, so I'm going to leave it alone. And let's... We need to do something here on her sleeve. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> um, boy, I just realized that these little ribbon thingies, those just kind of completely disappeared. We might have to add either some more violet or some of this mauve, which maybe will make them stand out a little bit more. Because right now, they're kind of blah. Okay. For that, I think we'll go... I'm going to just try this dark purple. And see what it looks like. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, it kind of just disappears into the into everything else, but now it's now it's too late. Oh, it'll be all right. We can um, put some white prisma on it when we're all done. Not sure how I feel about that, but there's nothing I can really do about it right now. Um, her straps are bugging me. I know I said I wanted to mix the violet and the mauve, but there's just something about that that I don't, I'm not happy with. So I'm adding some more mauve to these straps. Maybe it's just that there was not enough pigment on them and they looked too gray. So. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna use pencil to detail that out probably quite a bit. We need to figure out what we're gonna do with her choker and her head uh, band and her hair straps. Do we do purple or green for her hair straps? Hair ties. I don't know why, but I I don't know why, but I want to do them green. You would think purple, but I feel like I want to do them in green. So, or we can do them in purple and yellow. Maybe that's what we do. Mauve and cadmium yellow. So let's put the cadmium yellow down first. Oh, that is never good when you're working with water-soluble stuff. My thingy is out of water. Which really stinks when you're trying to um, move something around and you, <laughs> and you don't have time to mess around. So rather than getting up and using my little squirt thingy, which is not in the room at the moment, I'm just going to pour some bottled water in there and we can keep going. Okay. Well, that wasn't as big of a disaster as it could have been. I like the, uh, the purple and yellow, the mauve and yellow.
Okay. I'm good with that. Almost. Okay, what's next? Um, we definitely have the flowers to go. So now I have to decide if I want to introduce light pink in here or stick with white and green. And I'm Oh, I'm seriously inclined to stick with the white and the green. So, I'm debating because we're going to need, well, I'm thinking this is mauve. We're going to need um, some, I am going to lay some Prisma White down on these flowers because I feel like they're going to need it. So the question is, do I do the centers of them before the white or do I lay down the white and then do the... Um, okay, I don't know the answer to that. Very indecisive. Um, we still have to do that. That I think is a leather strap, like a leather with gold rings on it. So let's do that. And we'll go back to the figuring out the flowers because I still just don't know what I want to do. So this is saddle brown. And somewhere here I have bark. I think I'm going to do this. No, do I want to do that? It's pretty heavy grayscale, so it's going to be kind of hard for me to get it to look like it's metal. So I'm going to do it brown. So this is that bark color. It's kind of it's kind of nice being real dark like that. I kind of like it. So I should use. There's something I <laughs> something about that strap is still bugging me. And this might be the completely wrong thing to do, but I'm going to take some ink black. All right, I'm 
believe in it. Okay, we have to do our gold. And I think for that I used, for that gold I used sun yellow. And then we'll have to figure out what color we want those feathers. Um, oh, and these, you know, those are so tiny. I might have to do those in pencil, but let's just throw some of the yellow right there. sun yellow. Okay. At this point, I'm kind of going through and finding all the little things that I that I kind of missed before. Like there's a leaf here that needs some green. So I'm using felt green. It's dark, so it's not really showing up a lot, but it needed it. And it looks like I need some green in here because I'm seeing gray, which doesn't belong. So we'll put that there. Okay. Getting down to the wire here. Oh, I know what we need to do. I'm gonna take amber. And see what it does on all of these little kind of tree branches. We might wind up using pencil on those too, I don't know. I have a feeling we're definitely going to go over these with some pencil. Didn't do a whole lot. All right. Let's put in the centers of the flowers. 
I'm going to use apple green for that. <laughs> and then I think we'll go over that with yellow Prismacolor. The apple green is not quite yellowy enough. Um, I think I need fern green. That apple green was too... All right, so I'm gonna add some yellow to what, uh, some uh, sherbet lemon to this to make it a better color. And then let's try the fern. fern. It's not bright enough. So, some more sherbet lemon right in there. Okay, so I think the best combination was apple green and sherbet lemon. You guys, it's too bad there's not like a um, a buzzer that can like buzz me every time I go out of frame. So that is where we're at. I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm just going to put a little bit of that at the base of these buds. I don't know why. And looks like I missed some some stuff right here. So I'm going to take some felt green. Get that in there. I am just not sure what that is supposed to be. So I've decided I'm going to call it a twig. I'm going to use bark. do that. Alrighty, I think we are, gosh, we're so close to being done. Um, I want to go over her hair with Prismas, the flowers with Prismas. We'll do some detail work with the Prismas. But I, I think this, um, I think we're going to finish this video up with the ink tents and do everything else in Prisma. I do, I do. Righty. So I um, looked at how much time we had left, um, how much time we'd used on the video so far, and I think we have time to just finish her up. So 
that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to start with her hair first. And for that, I'm going to use um, Beige Sienna Light Umber and Espresso. And we'll go from there. Hopefully, we can get that hair looking a little bit better. Alrighty. I don't even know. This is interesting because I haven't done hair from, <laughs> from this point. I might bypass the base sienna to start with. Let's just see what light umber, um, what we can do with this light umber first. Let me see. This is kind of, this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. Yeah, okay. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to throw some of this down here. This is the beige sienna. This is the light umber. And I'm, I'm probably going to um, work with these all at the same time. So probably in the description box, not the description box, the my little titles under the video. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to write all three of these because I think you can tell the difference in color between which ones I'm using because this is, um, you know, not your typical way of doing hair because it's the colors are because so much color is already laid down on the page that I'm, I'm kind of trying to fix it as opposed to starting fresh so I'll just want to bring some white in.
kind of weird doing hair when there's color already down. It's um, interesting. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm doing it the way I would have done it. But mm, hopefully it comes out okay. I think it'll be all right. Alrighty, well, I don't, I don't hate it. It's not terrible. I'm going to take some black. Okay. I like this. That's just fine. So, hair is done. What do we want to do next? Let's go ahead and do the flowers. For those, I think. I'm going to add a little bit of gray for some shadows. I think we'll start with 20% cool gray and see if we like that. So. Just a little bit, that doesn't need to be a ton. <sighs> That's what happens when you press too hard.
So this white pencil, and it happens occasionally, and I've inspected it a thousand times and I don't see anything wrong with it. But every once in a while, I'll be using that white pencil and all of a sudden this, um, this line, like there's another color of the ink, not ink, another color of uh, pigment in the pencil, like it makes a black line as I'm working. I don't know what that's all about because I've looked and looked and I don't see anything strange in it, but thankfully my eraser will usually take it right off and it's not a problem. Buds are quite dark. I'm not sure if I like them that dark or not. No, I should rephrase that and say, I don't like them that dark. to take um, what's it called lime peel and I'm just gonna add some into the white of the flower petals just at the kind of at the base Now I'm wondering if we should use white gel pen on the on the little tips of the stamens or yellow. I'm not sure. So until I decide, I'm going to work right here. I'm just going to add a little bit of espresso. Right there. Let's see what happens if, <clears throat> if I use my Prisma Blender. Yep. 
part of me almost wants to add even a little bit of black just at the very, very tip. Just like that. Okay. Where else do I want some black? And is there anywhere where I want some white? Um, it looks pretty good, but what happens if we add Little bit of white right in the center of all these little thingies. I can zoom in enough. So I want to see what happens if I add some white on these leaves. It's subtle, but it's, I like it. Okay, so if I do that, then I want to do that over here as well. Maybe a little bit of dark right in here. So this is black. This is my Spiro Farben black, but you could use Prisma black too. I was going to do something with her. Uh, 
this thing here, this the tip of her glove. Part of me, I don't know why, wants to see. Watch me cover it all up and that that's worthless, but I want to take Dahlia Purple. a little bit yeah I'm good with that okay next I'm gonna take the same dahlia purple I just feel like this needed a little something something other blender God you can hear you can just hear the difference in how much smoother it is out what I'm going to put in these. Do we go with white? Part of me wants to go with white to kind of go with the flowers. Mm -hmm. The question is, can I do it with a pencil or do I need a pen? If I really want them white, I'm going to have to use a pen. Let's start with a gel pen and see if that works. Should, because we don't have any, yep, that works just fine. We don't have any um, wax underneath there. And the ink tents will not bleed into the white gel pen like um, watercolor wood. Nice. Okay, I also think that I want to put some of this gel pen Mm, even though I put white over these buds already, I'm going to try it. Maybe I'll try Posca. 
These buds just look too gray to me. I don't like them. Excuse me. Okay. We're almost done. That feather right there, what color do we want to make that feather? I'm going to use my espresso and see if I can. Okay, this is an experiment. How much of the grayscale ink can we pull off with our nice? Okay, so that lightened that feather up considerably. So now I can come in. and give her a striped feather. And it'll be brown and white instead of brown and gray. Nice. Let's see, I want my... So I'm just gonna... This is a pretty small one, but... Yeah, that probably didn't help. Kind of covered up the white too much. Oh well, you don't know until you try. That's fine, that's good. Okay, I think normally when you do a true bubble, it would be the color of the background um, but a lighter version and a little bit of a highlight. But I think I want the bubbles just to be yellow. So I'm going to pull out cream. Because I want them to be light. Let's see what, a, what they look like with cream. gonna take this is not very obvious it's very subtle but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, I just saw one more thing that I want to do. Okay, I want to take my espresso. I'm gonna zoom in again. 
And I want to outline these little yellow bits. Now I could probably use, and maybe I should, maybe I should use a brown fine liner for this. Because I want a pretty sharp line. And that did just not give me what I wanted quite enough. So I'm going to grab my fine liners. You could absolutely use Prismacolors if you don't have um, a fine liner in brown. It's funny, these are the only ones that I never swatched out. These pens, uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, there we go. That was a little dry. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer. We'll use that one. Okay, so... I'm just... That is a little yellow. I'm just gonna do that. Okay. Continuing. I love these little fine liners for doing this kind of work. A hard pencil would probably be fine too but you get um, a more vivid, rich color easier with these. one spot here and maybe I can use a yellow pen I don't know there's one spot right there where the green really no I'm gonna need to use a pencil where the green overtook the little yellow it's a tiny little detail and it's probably not even necessary for me to do but it's just I'm looking at it so it's one of those things I just want to see if I can fix It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Gosh, are we done? One more. Oh. Um, oh, I haven't done anything with those tree branches. But honestly, I don't know that I really need to. I mean, if I wanted to, I could add a tiny bit of white just to help them stand out a little bit better. Maybe. Because they kind of fade in. Oh, I just saw something else that isn't quite done. And that is right here. I didn't put any... Um, any ink tents in there. And I just might be lazy right now and see if using a marker Yeah, I'm going to be lazy. So you could fill that in with ink tents. You could fill it in with color pencil. Um, it's very, very dark. 
so it really doesn't show that much. I could come in just to give it a little bit of a little bit of highlight, I guess. So that's one nice thing about these books too, is that if there's ever an area that is just too dark for you and you don't like it, um, you can absolutely use an eraser <clears throat> and remove some of the printed ink and lighten it up a little bit. So now you actually can see that bit of green right there. Okay, and then the last thing are these little bits. I don't know about this pen. I might rather be able to, yeah. Okay, so I like the Posca pen better because I can really just dot it and it's way easier. My friends, I think she's done. I really, really like the way she turned out. Playing with ink tents is so much fun. And it really, <clears throat> it really didn't take that much um, pencil detail over the top to get it, um, to get it just the way I like it. I'm actually just adding a tiny little bit of white just on the top of the branch. Just for a little bit more highlight. Alrighty, that's a wrap. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again. It's always a pleasure. I had a good time and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Bye.